Hi, Jamie. You're going to have to turn up the volume on this <clears throat> because this is a really crappy laptop for recording things. Phones seem to do better. Anyways, this is in regards to the crickets, and I do love you very much, which is why I'm telling you this, that, um, what am I telling you? Oh, I just want to tell you that, uh, and you probably don't even want to hear any of this because you never do, and I understand that, No, you know, it's fine, but I just want to tell you that, um, you should watch my video, my te video testimony that I did. Um, uh, it's really interesting. And uh, you can find it on my YouTube where, you, where this video is from. Uh, but other than that, um, and <laughs> I'm telling this to you because I love you. And I hope that you listen and try to make sense of it because you're a smart, intelligent person. Okay. <clears throat> if there is such a place called hell, if it's real, then is it wise to gamble with the afterlife? Now, does that make any sense? Um, it doesn't matter what we believe or not believe because I could believe that I can run and jump off a cliff and fly and then realize bam I'm dead on the ground I could believe that the sun won't rise tomorrow with all my heart and dang there it comes it's rising you know it doesn't matter what we believe there are facts and realities that whether we like it or not they're real so my point is dad does EVPs he thinks everybody goes to heaven and then reincarnate it's a very nice thought. I hope that's true. I personally don't believe that. But, you know, if that's true, that's great. But what if it isn't true? I know you hate to listen to this and think about it. You want to think about life here on earth and not death until it comes and hits you when you least expect it or even when you do expect it. And, <clears throat> you know, um, that's my whole point is if it's real, if hell is a real place, if all of that is real, if Jesus is telling the truth, if he isn't a liar, if he's telling the truth because his own disciples didn't believe him until he rose from the dead and then he ascended to heaven, then they were like, oh shit, this shit's for real. And then they went out and died for Jesus um, when they found out, oh my gosh, he is real. This is what everything he said is true. So if we are to think that Jesus is lying, then why would his disciples who thought he was lying as well go out and die for him and be martyrs for, um, you know, what he, they, what Jesus taught them? So that's kind of my point. Okay. All of the religions, even the Jewish religion of the Bible, says that you have to do good works to get into heaven. They don't believe, the Jews do not believe that Jesus died for their sins okay all of the religions is a work it's a work basis religion except for Christianity that's the only one that isn't so are all the other ones correct and Christianity wrong well all the other religions conflict with each other so who's to say right I believe that what Jesus I believe what Jesus said and what and all that um, even you you'll even find um, atheists who will say that Jesus was a real person um, just if they're like historian like a historian they will say yeah he was a real person I personally don't believe they were God I think he was lying but he was a real person um, there's plenty of evidence that he was real okay so <clears throat> the thing about um, when I sent you when I send you things that that upset you and I don't mean to upset you in any way um, my dad did the same thing to me and he, he opened my eyes to what goes on in the world and I'm glad he did it because I don't want to live blindly to what goes on in the world. Um, it's, it's not, it's not a good thing to do. And that's kind of why I do that 
for you so that you can kind of see what goes on in the world. Um, <clears throat> so this is my thing. Now, the I know you probably don't believe any of the Bible or whatever, and um, that's your prerogative. You got free will. You can do what you want. But, but like I said, if that if the Bible is true, it would be bet it would be better to be safe than sorry. Because uh, even DJ, I mean, I have no idea what his beliefs are. I don't even know how deep he was into his whatever he was into when he was in the Christianity. I have no clue about any of that. I never talked to him about any of it. Don't know nothing about it. All I know is what I've experienced, and I hope you um, watch my video. It's like an hour long. My testimony, and uh, it's pretty profound. Uh, very, very profound. So anyways, that's my message to you, is, is that all of the religions say, oh, if you're a good person, then everything's fine you know if you go to heaven well no who who's to say who is good and who isn't good that's the subjective realities that we have the 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 people they they will say oh the, this is good and then some people say well no that, that's bad and other people say well this is good and everybody got their own idea of what's good and what's bad that's why it's called subjective so if in 20 years and I know I'm just putting it out there. If a bunch of people disappear off the earth in the year 2043. And the only reason I say this is because of a prophet that's on YouTube. And the way he said it sounded like something that Jesus would say. Jesus said, it's going to be the usual for the next 20 years. The usual. He was very nonchalant about it. He wasn't to the point. And that's the way Jesus speaks, really. And I was like, this actually sounds authentic. Um, and he's done other prophecies that are that he's got right. He said that the Queen Elizabeth was coming home a week before she died. And a week later, she died. So uh, this guy's legit. Anyways, if a bunch of people disappear off the face of the earth in the year 2043, it was not aliens. <laughs> It was God in the rapture. There's a thing in the Bible, and that's the tribulation. That will be the unusual thing that will happen. The only other unusual things that have happened was the fall of humanity, uh, Noah's flood, Sodom and Gomorrah, um, when Jesus came to the earth the first time, and uh, the next unusual thing that's going to happen is the tribulation, according to the Bible. So, if a bunch of people disappear off the face of the earth, and if you are not one of them, and if you take the mark of the beast, where you cannot buy or sell without it, which is the number of the beast, 666, then that's not good. I'm, I'm recommending you don't do that, and just put your faith into your into spirit, into God, and um, do that. Now, if you are taken up in the rapture, then then you became a believer and you're born again and you love God more than you love anything else because he created us. So, but that's up to you to decide. I'm just here to give you fair warning. You know, everybody can choose whether they want to go to heaven or hell. And whether you believe in heaven or hell or not, if it is a true fact that heaven and hell are real, then I would hope that you would least cover your bases and at least research it and say, maybe my, my spiritual life is worth the um, possibility. Um, that's all I'm concerned about. I'm not a hell of I'm I am a hellophobe. That's the only thing I'm afraid of. Sure, I hate evil in the world, which is wrong. But I'm not afraid of somebody coming up and killing me because I know where I'm going to go when I die. Now, <clears throat> some people think they're going to be reincarnated. That's what my dad believes. He talks to familiar spirits, which in the Bible, those are demons pretending to be family members. We did an EVP one time and there was a demon that said, fuck you. And my dad said, that's not what it said. Even Katie and I think, I don't know who it was, it was Katie and Jessica. I, I, I can't remember who was there, but we all went out to a field and did EVPs. 
And Kit, they even said, yeah, that is what it said. It said, fuck you. Because I, I asked it. I said, is there such thing as aliens? And the voice said, fuck you. And I was like, oh. And Dad said, that's not what it said. So, and plus, Dad said that Richard pretend to be Mom in his head, speaking in his head. Even though Dad said that you can't lie in heaven. Well, pretending is still like lying. Even though he said, no, it's really... It, it was me. I was pretending to be Judy. Well, if you can't lie in heaven, then how can you have the even the ability to pretend? What's the point of pretending, even? So that got me, and I was like, what? Because I used to believe this stuff, and now I'm like, and I'm not sure I believe this anymore. So I guess that's all I got to say, and uh I hope you watch my video. I got two of them in there. There's one about a prophecy that was done by this other guy, Troy Black, who did the Queen Elizabeth prophecy. And it's actually about my screenplay, but he doesn't know it, but I know it. And there, that's a video in there. But the video you should watch is Grace Under Pressure, His Eternal Love Story. <clears throat> and it's an hour long. And I hope you at least give it a chance and just see where I'm coming from as just a human being who wants to get to the bottom of the truth. That's all I want. I just want the truth. Okay? Sure, people can say, well, I got my truth. You got your truth. My boyfriend over here, he got his truth saying that he didn't go out and sleep with that woman even though he did, even though he's lying, but he says it's the truth. We don't know what truth is. We don't. <laughs> but we do know that there are truths out there that cannot be shattered. They're like actual reality fact. I can believe in unicorns and leprechauns all day long and they will never exist. Do you understand what I'm saying? They will never exist. Okay, so I love you. I have no hate towards you or anybody. I love people and I want people to know the truth, man, because people got the free will to choose whether they want to listen to the lies or listen to the truth. And then you got to figure out which are the lies and which are the truth. That's the big mystery. So I love you. And thank you for listening, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.